It's important for people to realize just how dire the situation is. Researchers at OSU, along with 10 others across the world, making a bold statement. It's the first time of the planet of the Earth that humans or that a species in and of itself is what is causing the change in the climate. Reporting without actions that address the root problem of humanity taking more from the Earth than it can safely give, we're on our way to unbearable heat and shortages of food and fresh water. We are currently in uncharted territory. Jillian Gregg is among the researchers who just released the data. She says 20 of 35 planetary vital signs the authors use to track climate change are at record extremes, like the temperature of the ocean. For ocean, water has this really high heat capacity, so it's really hard to change the ocean temperature. But the North Atlantic Ocean was a full one degree Celsius higher than normal. And on land, researchers noted this past July, we saw the highest average Earth temperature ever recorded. Do you know how old the Earth is? In return, Greg says we can expect more extreme temperatures, creating difficulty maintaining crops and more wildfires, among other things, all catastrophic. We feel that it's our moral duty of scientists and our institutions to alert humanity of any potential climate threats. And to help figure out what's next. As we move forward, we need to really be focusing on policies. You know, there's things individuals can do at their home, but we really need to have policies and policy makers in office that can create the policies that will lead us to a, a a better situation in the future. Their recommendations? Phasing out fossil fuel subsidies, transitioning toward plant-based diets, scaling up forest protection efforts, and adopting international coal elimination and fossil fuel non-proliferation treaties. We need to think of the future, you know, not even just of our children, just of ourselves. In Portland, China Green, KGW News.